Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another free Photoshop Elements 12 video tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, as the title I'm sure has given it away as it does many times, we're going to be showing you a very quick way to do some edits with the Smart Brush Tool. The Smart Brush Tool can be used in so many different ways that people don't even really imagine how they can really use it. And I found a great way to use it here on water. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use it here. And then we're going to do a little bit of portrait touch up. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have obviously just three girls on the beach. I thought the water could use a little bit more of a blue tint to it. And I thought, how could we possibly achieve that? I mean, we could always paint it. And we can, uh, you know, lower the opacity and do all that stuff with it. Or we could just do it with a couple mouse clicks. The first thing I want you to do is either use your control or your command key and hit command or control J. And we're going to duplicate that background image. Remember we do this so we make a, a non-destructive image. We make an image uh, or you know a layer that we can work on. If anything goes crazy, uh, we can always just delete it and start over. Let's go ahead now to your tool pin on, this, on the left side and we're going into the enhanced menu. You can see here we have view select enhance and we're going to click on the smart brush tool. Now in the smart brush tool, now, now bear with me, you're going to say, wow, this, this guy's a little bit off here. But anyway, we're going to click under where it says the uh, tools here. It says click to open the picker. And if you click the presets, you'll see all different kinds of presets in here. Black and white, color, lighting. These are great tools. They're called smart tools because it makes the work smarter and not harder. We're going to click on nature. Now when we go into nature, just follow along on these um, little slides here. And you'll see the first one says make dull skies. Second one says make a cloudy sky, darkened sky, uh, sunset, snowfall. Intensify and flowery. What we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to go to darken sky. Now, when you go to darken sky, we're going to close the panel up just by clicking back on the little picture. We have the smart brush tool selected. And all you're going to do now is just create, increase your brush size you see my cursor here I'll put it on the girl's nose and I'm using my left and right little bracket keys now if you don't know what a bracket key is it's just a little half a square and if I use the right one I can increase the brush if I use the left one I can decrease the brush or if you wish you can go down you can change it with the slider down here but what I don't like about the sliders I can't see what's happening so I'd rather have the brush size up on the picture itself and use my left and right bracket keys now to have my selection tool or my brush size set, I'm going to just start painting over here. So I'm going to click my left mouse button and just start going over the water. And I'm going to go over all the water. So now I'm going to lower the brush size as I go around this girl's head. And I'm going to come down between the two of them. And if you can see there, it could get on their arms. It got on her hand a little bit there. But don't worry about that. I'm going to show you an easy way to correct that. Because you can keep lowering your brush size and trying to do all that fancy stuff. But it's so much easier just to kind of correct it there once you're done. You see her leg got a little bit darker here. And we're going to correct that. You can go uh, inside this girl's arm here. Don't worry about that part. And we'll go across her head. As you can see, the water is becoming a lot bluer and i know you're saying it's not a sky but i thought well you know what it's blue the water's got a blue tint to it so why not let this tool do its job instead of me trying to tint the water and make it look any different we're just going in between everything here as much as we can and we'll go right between her little arm there so once you get all that done you can see where the selection is made and we'll go right around her hair this little bit there okay now, once we get all that done, we can click back on the layer itself. The layer is the, the layer mask, I'm sorry, is the little white box right beside the little tools here. So click on that layer mask. Click off first. We'll click on the layer mask. And what you want to do now is we're going to just deselect everything. 
We're clicking on the layer mask and we're going to paint with black. If we paint with black with a brush, it reveals whatever's underneath. Now, if we shut this off, we know that we have the girls clean underneath without that little blue tint on them and turn it back on. Now we have to get the blue tint off of them that we accidentally put on them. So on the layer mask, again, you clicked on the layer mask. Your foreground color over under your color palette is set to black. We have a brush selected and we're just going to start painting wherever we made that mistake. And you can look at this girl's leg here, the blonde girl on the left. I'm going over her uh, swimming suit and her leg and you can see how her leg is coming white again. Because essentially what we're doing here is we are taking off the, the tint that we put on her and we are bringing out what's underneath of that layer. Do the same with this girl over here with her hair, this arm. Same thing with her side and with her elbow. And then this leg. See how much whiter it's getting? But the water is staying blue tinted. You don't want to get over, you know, you don't want to be uh, going over in the water itself. There we go down the arm here. Make sure it's clean. We'll go up this girl's arm, up over top her head, and then down her swimsuit. You can see there, all I'm doing is left clicking my mouse and holding it and just painting along. Painting along up and down here. Very easy edit. And now you can see that that water has such a better blue tint. The grills are all back out in their natural lighting. We got all that tint off of them. And there you go. It's very, very easy edit. Uh, it's very quick. And uh, I know a lot of you take your kids to the beach. Why not make that water look even bluer than it did when you took the picture? All right. So with that edit done, all you do then is save it out as a JPEG and then have it developed. We're going to go to Girl Touch-Up. Now what we're going to do here is just look at a couple of the brushes that's in the Smart Brush tool. I thought I would do this as a little bit of a bonus. What I'm doing here is holding down my Alt key and using the wheel of my mouse to zoom, her up, to zoom the picture up here because I'm mainly looking at her face. And I want to pull this down a little bit. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to use the Smart Brush tool. And you can do this anytime you're taking pictures of people. Again, I'm going to use Command or Control J and duplicate that background image. You'll see now that there's a layer one that we're going to be working on. Anytime you're taking portraits, it's always beneficial to touch them up. I never let a client see a portrait that I take of them. You know, so many people want to take the picture and show them the back of the screen. Don't do that because you want to look at it first in the editor. You want to touch it up a little bit and just, you know, everybody wants to look gorgeous. That's what we do as photographers. We make people look their best. Again, go down the little pull down menu here where it says click to open. On the presets now, we're going to look for portrait. And under portrait, you have all kinds of stuff here. We can brighten her eyes. Uh, we can uh, bring out details. We can lighten uh, skin tones. Make lips red. Whiten teeth if you have to. She don't have any teeth showing, so we're okay there. Darken skin tones. Soften the focus. And again, you can whiten teeth there. So you can, you know, make teeth whiter or whiten teeth more or whiten them here. We're going to go first here with a little bit of bright eyes. And let me show you how that works. So brighten the eyes, all you do is you're going in the whites, basically, and you're going to go over those whites. And I'm just clicking right on the white parts of her eyes. And you can see how much brighter those actually become. And anyway, her eyes, how they're becoming whiter. And if you double click over on the layer that just created, you can actually see how it's actually whitening the eyes up. It's pulling out the brightness. So if it's too bright, you can always knock it back down. Just by simply moving these a little bit, you can bring it back out. You can drop the output level back and forth a little bit there. We're going to leave them at white. The next thing we're going to do here, now that we have her eyes brightened up, is go back to your tools and let's try to bring out some detail. Bring out detail could bring out detail in the girl's cheeks, their nose maybe, their lips. Uh, we're going to see what kind of detail we can bring out here. Just by simply going over her cheeks, her lips, and her eyes. 
basically I'm just going over around her face here. And if you hold your Alt or your Option key down, you'll see how the selection tool changes to a minus. If you can see, I'll pull on her nose here so you can see. Right now it's a plus. If I hold that down, it's a minus. That means I'm going to deselect an area. So I want to deselect her neck area here. We're just going to enhance the face area right there. Deselect this area here. And just like so. Once you have those edits done, all you got to do again is deselect by hitting Command or Control D. And now you see we brought out all the features and now she has even more of a tan. The last thing we'll look at is soft focus. So what soft focus does, and I've taught this a lot in, in my courses and in my classes, is soft focus is that depth of field look. So you can put something in soft focus and you bring the rest of the body out. What we're going to do here is I'm going to try to roll this back out here a little bit. And I'm just going to put everything in soft focus from her neck down. So we we'll just make this mouse a little bit bigger here, the brush. And we'll just kind of paint over this area. Here. Again, I'm going to uh, deselect part of this area right here on, on top by her shoulder. And over here on the other side, just by using my... Uh, Alt key there to change that to a minus. And you can see there now that we have more of a soft focus in that area. We actually focus that down a little bit. So there you have it. it it's really, really a great tool to use for portrait touch-ups. And just take your time. Remembering that every edit you do is creating a new layer over on the left on your layers palette. So if you don't like something, if you don't like the, uh, the skin tone maybe of her face, you can just turn it off and see what you like. See if that looks better to you or not. So I turn it off and turn it on. Let's blow this up one more time here, and I can show you that a little bit better. And we're going to show you here. We're going to just turn the skin tone off and turn it on. Turn it off and turn it on. Look at her eyes. We can turn the eyes off. And we can turn them back on. So that's what the layer is so important. You have to understand layers and know how those work. So hopefully you picked up some tips today. And you'll start using the Smart Brush tool. It's a great tool to use. Very, very handy, and it makes your life a lot easier. Folks, remember, if you enjoy this show, and I hope you do, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com. You can also, don't forget to join the Facebook group. And the Facebook group is Jack's Tech Corner. And if you really like to learn elements, and you, know, you really enjoy using Photoshop Elements, check out my Photoshop Elements online course at jtclearning.com. That's jtclearning.com. And thanks for watching, and I'll, wa I'll talk to you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner with another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Bye for now.